My name is Hemi, but a lot of people sometimes uh, they call me. You know? So let's get started. So first and foremost, uh, if you're new to this uh, channel, just come right here, subscribe. Let's get started. So now, uh, this question says here, you have a uh, Posi 6 micro uh, school, point charger, a place uh, at the corner. I mean, 6, 6, and both of them positive, but here we don't know. You can see this is from here to there. We don't know. This is from here. We don't know. Now, we do not want these people? So this is uh, shown in the figure, just like how we see in the figure here, right? Now, let's say uh, the vertex P, vertex like this corner here, this vertex P for this case of the triangle. So, what do they want? They say find the electric potential relative to infinity. Okay, so the first one we're gonna have to find the relative potential, uh, relative to relative, uh, uh, the electric potential relative to infinity. This is very easy. So, we know the form of electric potential, so it's electric potential. Our electric potential, so let's call it electric potential. Electric potential. So which you represent by V equal. So uh, uh, at the vertex P. Oh, so this P look, if you want to get electric potential, it's gonna be from here to here and from here to there. But we have a formula for electric potential. What is the formula? The formula for electric potential we say O is V equal to uh K. Okay. Charger over the radius, so this we can put small out or big out or whatever, you know. So that's how we get electric potential. But for this P, you know, P got two direction means from here to here. Oh, so for that case, I want to say, okay, so this is our form of electric potential, okay. So now let's go. So now we're going to say here, uh, from P to this point means also uh, electric potential equal. But remember, everything here is the same. So I'm going to say, okay, let's start for the face from P to here means it's going to be K. What is a K? We know, okay. Well, I can plug either now or later. Our k equal to uh, 9 times 10 power, 9 times charger. This is the first charger, which is 6 times you want. Okay, you see this charger here? It is in microcoulomb. So if you want to change this to coulomb, you must multiply by 10 power, negative 6. So it's going to be 6 times 10 power, negative 6. And then now it is in coulomb. So now for that case, I'm going to say, okay, so times 10 power, negative 6. Okay, and then over the distance from here to here, this is equal to 2. Now we must plus, you know what we must plus means P with this also. So what is our K? Our K equal to 9 times 10 power 9 times Q. What is our Q? Our Q is 6 because from here to there, 6, but it must be in Coulomb, micro Coulomb. This is micro Coulomb, I've got the Coulomb. So if it's in Coulomb, then don't bother to change, but for this case, it's not. So this is like 6 times 10. Power negative 6, so it's going to be 6 times 10, power negative 6, and then over our radius. Our radius is equal to also 2, but if it's 3, you put 3, it depends on whatever they're going to give to you. You know what I'm saying? So if you look careful, this is like the same thing. So I'm going to say, oh, so this is like 2 of everything because the common denominator is equal to 2. Okay? And this is like the same thing. It's like, you know, so it's like 2 of these. Look, everything is the same. So 2 of exactly what are they 9 times 10 power 9 times 6 times 10 power negative 6 over 2 this is this cancel so our potential electric potential equal to take your calculator plug it slowly so we know this is meter and all so then it's going to give you uh, uh, 5 volt times 10 power 3 volt but you know, you can because this is more than uh, 1,000. If it's more than 1,000, you change to kilovolt. So you want to have to divide by 1,000. Only when it's more than 1,000. You know? So divided by 1,000, is going to be 5, 4, what? Kilovolt means move this 1,000. So 54 kilovolts. Now we go for the second one. Now they say uh, find the magnitude of electric, uh, electric field. So we have a formula for electric field. The formula for electric field is very, very easy. First, let me, let me get you to understand. Electric field. So the second one, electric field. So how we get the electric field? So for you to get the electric field, always take electric potential divided by radius. Electric potential or distance over by radius. But we know electric potential is Q, Q, K, Q over R. So this let me say uh, so okay. So this is like K, Q. 
over R, which is this one on top, but we must divide by another, another R. So this may say, oh, so electric field equal to K, Q over R squared. You see, that's how you get your electric field. So now we're going to have to do the same thing here, you know, electric field due to this charge R. So now look, so for this case here, I'm going to do this, look. If this one go that way, means our electric field is going to be somewhere here. Let me do this. Uh, let me draw here another one. Quick, just a small, simple script. sketch. Okay, so now this is this our triangle. Okay, so this electric field. Let's go away. Away. So this electric field one, and this is electric. Let's call this electric field two. We know this is uh, this is equilateral triangle from my mistake. Yeah. So this is sixty. This sixty. This sixty. And they're 60, you know what I'm saying? So now we go, okay, let's start with electric field 1. So electric field 1 equal to, is going to be KQ, K of charge 1, because you know charge 1 equals 6, of charge 1, let's go Q1 over, this is 1, let's go R1. But we know R, R, because you know what I say R, R, because the distance here and here is the same. But uh, in other cases, if they give difference, make sure you plug in according, according, okay. So this is E1, now we can get E2, too. What is E2? So for E2, we do the same thing. You know? Oh, let's start first with E1. And then we can get E2. But okay, let's do E2. So E2 is going to be also K, charger 2. But I see we're lucky the charger 2 is the same. Over the distance, over, let's call, let's call this R1, this R2. But we know R1 equal to R2, R1 and 2R, the same. So now, and even K and K the same. Even the charger also the same, 6 and 6. So let's have the E1. So electric field 1, K. What is the K? K equal to 9 times 10, power 9 times. What is the charge of 1? 6 times 10, because we must change this to Q long. 10 power negative 6 over the distance. What is the distance? This is equal to 2. So charge of 1, if you plug in the calculator, is going to give you uh, 13.5 times 10, 13.5 times 10 power, which is quick, uh, 10 power 3 volt per meter. The unit of electric field is um, volt per meter. Per meter, you know what I'm saying? So we have electric field one. So let's find the electric field two. But you see the unit of electric field two, two is going to be the same unit, okay? But let's just do. So electric field two also. We know it's going to be the same because I must take, okay, I must take K. K is constant. Look, charge, charge also the same. But if it was different, then it was going to give us a different result. But for this case, look, charge, what is the charge? Okay, let's go K. K equal to 9 times 10, power 9 times. Charger, charge also, you see, 6 times. 10 power negative 6 times, you know? No, no, we don't, no, no more times, okay? And then we divide by distance. What is the distance? Distance is 2. So you see, it's, it's the same unit. That's why it's going to give us equal to 13.5 times 10 power, 3 volt per meter. So we have E1 and E2. So what is the one? So now we notice that electric field one strength, electric field equal to electric field two, which equal to E. Now what do the one? Now? These people, they say uh, magnitude of electric field due to this charger, due to this charger. Okay, at point P. So now you got two point P. So we, in other we want to get the net electric field strength due to this charger because we don't want to find a separate. Okay, so we want to get like net electric field for this case magnitude of electric field due to this charge. So now you're going to have to apply this uh, little formula. So you say if you want to get uh, electric field net equal to square root electric field 1, electric field 2 plus uh, plus this square, excuse me, like uh, it's like it looks like a kind of like completely square but it's not. Okay? And they say 2 of this charger electric field 1, electric field 2 and then cos of angle, what is the angle between of these two charges? Because you know electric field of this, you know electric field of this, but we want to get the strength in between them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you call electric field what? net. So what is the angle between 60 for this case? But in other case, there might be another angle, it depends on the information they have given to you. You know, so plug this cos of 60 for this case. So you say electric field net equal to okay, so square root. What's electric field one? Electric field one is 13. Point five. Okay, so this is in uh, 
uh, we can change this to kilovolt if you want, you know, only if you want, but it's only solid, you know. If somebody wants, we know, look, this is volt per meter, so I can change kilovolt per meter by say, divided by 1000, it's going to be 13.5 kilovolt per meter. So same here, this is volt per meter, I can change to kilovolt per meter. So divide by 1000, if you divide by 1000, it's going to be what? 13.5 volt, kilovolt per meter. So let me get my hands on kilovolt per meter because I know everything is going to be kilovolt per meter. If you don't want, you can just leave it as volt per meter. Okay, so 13.5 is a kilovolt per meter per square plus even this for this case, 13.5 square. So minus 2, okay, 13.5 times 13.5. Five and then cos of 60. But I will not cos of 60. Cos of 60 is equal to, uh, I think it's a half, yeah, should be half. So plug the calculator. So now this is going to give you electric field net, which equal to, um, okay, 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 okay. So if you plug in the calculator, this, oh, or we can just see it earlier. Okay, so plug in the calculator, it's going to give you. I can even go slow here, I can say, okay, this and this can be two. Uh, plug in the calculator. When you plug in the calculator, it's gonna give you 13.5. 13.5 square root of three. Square root of three, and then you get, this is gonna be kilovolt per meter, because I took as a kilovolt, but if you want, you can leave as a volt. So that's why my answer here is in kilovolt, okay? So you face hand, you make sure you subscribe right here. I hope you learn from my methods. You know, you learn how to do things. Uh, you can share to a lot of people and feel free. Please leave a comment. I'm going to be more than happy to respond to your comments, okay? Peace and I'm out. Peace. Yeah.